Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Total Conflict Resistance. I almost forgot the title for a minute because I'm a dumbass. But this is essentially from what I could see a top-down RTS mixed with a first-person shooter. Kind of like what we played with Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. So enough about me talking about it. Let's just go into it. Oh, okay, here we go. Cool. Thank you for launching Total Conflict Resistance Demo. Attention. The project is in alpha stage and errors... Uh, may be present. In the current version, the scenario all against all is available. Okay, so basically every man for himself. Uh, you control Democratic Republic of Sambro. You have several initial battle all battalions. Try to save them. Select a battalion, left click. Okay, so typical RTS. So far, I'm interested. Sir, yes, sir. So we're just at war. That's That's basically the gist of it. You're going there. You go there. You go there. Are you? Oh, you're hostile. Oh, Kidoki. Uh, research. Oh, we have research. Neat. Can I research other things? I can only research one at a time. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Available productions. Uh. There, let's produce those. No. Um. Uh, oh. Contact. Well, yeah, I would imagine this contact. These bad guys are there. So I can either manual or auto. Which okay. Uh, how are we looking? So sixty of them versus fifty of us. We have two armored vehicles. Uh, let's do manual. There you go, the game needed a few minutes to load. Okay, cool, so we have, these look like Bradleys. That's a Hunter, I think, that's a Bradley. All right, cool. All right, boys, let's do it. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Move out. So now, does everyone follow me? Sir, yes, sir. Move out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm just curious, how do I, okay. Oh. Do we even know where the enemy force is, exactly? Alright, I guess the smart decision... Yes, sir. Affirmative. ...would just be to take the town. Nope, hold on. Sir, sir yes, sir. Roger that. Sir, yes, sir. Affirmative. There sir, we go. Yes, sir. Roger that. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Oh my god, we can knock over trees! Those are loud ass trees. God damn, those are some loud ass trees. I don't even think trees are that loud in real life. Are they? I don't know. Someone tell me in the comment section. Um, okay. Oh. Roger. Oh, that's how you do it. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Roger that. Yes, sir. Roger that. Sir, yes, okay, sir. I got it. I figured it out. Negative. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Roger. Now, see, my problem with games like this, where are the bad guys? Am I just expected to go around and just find them and just YOLO and... Where? You're taking fire, where? Okay. Uh, okay, that happened. Um, are you hostile? You appear to be hostile in my... Hmm. How do I take direct control of that, M that APC? You should really attack it. Tango down. Affirmative. How can I take direct control? Oh, okay, it's just gonna give me this guy. So our guys are finding the rebels. Let's 
See, I think this. Wait, that vehicle disabled? Shit. Damn it. Okay. But yeah, this is very much like Freeman Guerrilla Warfare, but just a little bit more viable, I guess, if that makes sense, if, the, if the, my wording is correct. Tango down. I like the guns a little bit better. I like the vehicles definitely a lot more, too. For some reason, Freeman Guerrilla Warfare couldn't do uh, APCs, right? The, um, not to give the developers shit or anything, but they had... Can I just take out its gunner? Oh, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, cool. Where's my APC? Also, do not know how to take over. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, cool. Kind of inaccurate, but yeah, no, this will do the job. Bye! Oh, wait, no, he actually, he actually survived that one. Okay. How did I get flashbanged? Can someone explain that to me? Hello? Hmm. There we go. Oh my god, there's gore in this game. I just saw some poor bastard's head go pop. Wasn't there only like 60 of these guys? Target eliminated. Okay, so it does not appear like there's friendly fire. Hold on, where's friendlies? No, no friendly fire, thank god. They're retreating. I play by Napoleon's rules. If you eliminate the enemy now, it won't be a problem later. Okay. I'm not a fan of the camera. Okay, so there you go. So it pinged our enemies. Now, which you? Sir, yes, sir. Which one has the APC? Yes, there we go. Sir. I want to drive the Bradley. Oh, so we have a few Bradleys actually. Is that gun front? It actually seems against rebels, our guys are fairly effective. Enemy now, how do I change its weapons? Nope. Okay, we definitely don't want to abandon the vehicle. That's that's a definite. But it has rockets on it, so that's that's what I want to know. Like, how do I use the rockets on the? This is a Bradley, isn't it? Enemy down. Look at Bradley. Enemy. Am I wrong about that? Tell me in the comment section. Am I right? Is this a Bradley? Oh. Is this a Bradley? I don't know if this is a Bradley or not. Does it look like a Bradley? Fire! I think it's a Bradley. Hold on, I, I just... This is an opportunity for a good you know, screenshot moment. Because this game looks good. I wouldn't say it's AAA, but it looks good. And it's like, wait, this is a good... Hold on, can you guys like... Hold on, I'm trying to Target get the camera just right. There we go. That, that actually looks kind of cool. Get the soldiers around the APC. Okay, back to the back to the gunplay. All right, so you're on my side, I think. I don't see any bad guys out there. I hear gunfire, but I don't see bad guys. Oh, they're all over there. Okay, of course they are. Okay. 
I just want to shoot the big gun. You guys bad guys? Holy shit! Okay! I think I think this is going to be a game to play for the channel upon release. Because this is just a demo, by the way. I should mention that. Anywho, led. speaking of war. Don't worry, I'm not getting political. I played through Modern Warfare 2 recently. Not 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 the new, not the new Modern Warfare 2. Not the uh, I guess you call it Modern Warfare 2 2022. You want to call it that? No, no, not the new one. I'm talking like OG Modern Warfare 2, like Xbox 360, right? The well, specifically the remake or the remaster, right? That was just a campaign. And comparing that to real world logistics and military and politics and shit like that. Modern Warfare 2 makes zero fucking sense. It's just absolute bullshit. Like, for one, in Modern Warfare 3, they show security camera footage. For, oh, we won. Yay. They show security camera footage of Makarov and his men attacking the airport, which is true. We saw that happen, right? We, we were part of that. It was uh, no Russian. So, why is it that... Oh, we just started a war. That's how you start wars. Okay. Uh, how are we looking? Oh, there's a lot more of them than us. YOLO! But yeah, in Modern Warfare 3, we see camera footage from No Russian of the terrorist attack, right? And the thing that throws me off is like, okay, cool, yes, so we have, Roger. you know, we see Makarov's men sir, yes, sir. Affirmative. at the airport. Yes, so how is the U.S. responsible yes, sir, still? Roger. Like, I get it, I know that we Roger had the uh, yes, dude that was in the CIA with him, yes, and sir. the Russians found his body, so right off the bat they were like, oh shit, it's the Americans! Like, I know, I got that. Oh, this is a tank. This is a patent. This is a patent. But yeah, it, it's like, um... They, you know. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Do we have any Bradleys? Oh, we're already getting our ass to beat. Um, I think I goofed. I think, uh, <laughs> I think I made a... I think I might have made a slight fucky-wucky. Well, but anyway. So the Russians know that Makarov is a terrorist. They know who he is. They saw him on the security camera footage. So how is the U.S. directly responsible? That's that's what confused the hell out of me, right? The other thing that doesn't make sense is the Russians directly attack the United States. They invade the east and the west coast. Again, logistically this makes zero sense. If Okay, if they were to attack just the east coast, theoretically that makes sense. Theoretically. Need an RPG. No, I, how do I swap weapons? How do I swap fucking weapons? Okay, I need, oh, okay, I tabbed out like a dumbass. But anyway, it makes zero sense. If they were to attack the west coast, it's theoretically possible. But again, theoretically possible. If they were to strike at the west coast and the west coast only. Explain to me how the Russians attacked the United States before they attacked Europe. Explain to me how an entire Russian fleet Sails from Russia through, was it the Atlantic? Through the Atlantic to the east coast of the United States, and not a single European nation goes, hey, um, there's a large Russian force heading towards you guys. You, uh, you might want to be ready for that. Uh, we don't know what they're doing, but, uh, yeah, they don't look happy. They don't, they don't look like they want to make friends. You're, you're gonna want to, you're gonna want to be careful. That never happens. The other thing that's bullshit, too, is if it was a small token force, Again, theoretically plausible. Yeah, okay, we just got our asses beat. I kind of figured we would have lost that one. Contact. Uh, what kind of force are we- Oh, we're fighting rebels over there? What the fuck? Yeah, like, see, these guys we could scrub. Yeah, see, we won that one. Um... Yes, sir. These guys are rebels. Are we at war with you? Oh, yeah- Oh, we weren't at war with these guys. These were the guys that we were at war with. Does it tell me what kind of- Oh, I feel stupid! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Let me restart the war and I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so I restarted the war and... Or restarted the game. So it looks like... Yeah, so these guys were never our enemies. Um, at least not yet, anyway. It's a relatively... Actually, wow. Okay, this is a much bigger map than I thought it would be. Okay. Now, I have no idea how to resupply a unit that's gotten its ass absolutely beat. I just don't know how to add to it. Like that's that's my problem. Sir, yes, sir. Like I don't know how to give it new. Like I'm assuming once you yes, sir. produce shit, that that's really it. It's a matter of time and you know production. I am just kind of yoloing it with the rebel fights though. Did I win that? Actually, no. We wiped each other out. I also don't know. Can I? I want to take a look at... Send convoy? Create convoy, seal him to... No, I don't want to... Yes, sir. I have no idea how... Oh! Well, no, I moved those guys. Uh... Wait, so if I... Am I going to have to... I don't know how to bulk up my guys. Like, sure, we have a bunch of units. I have a bunch of squads here. I just don't know how to alter the squad. That's my problem. Am I not allowed to alter my squads? Is that what it is? I'm also running at the fastest pace possible. So... Sir, yes, sir. Is there anything special about some of these buildings? Apparently a garrison. Okay, so there's a garrison in this town... Oh. If I create a... Okay, see, now we're learning something here. These guys are... Yes, sir. A minor token yes, sir. force, if that. Yes, so... Sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you know what it looks like? Over time. That's what it looks like. If you leave them alone, over time they will build up. If they hang out in a town long enough. That's what it looks like. Yeah, see that? So... Sir, yes, sir. Can I... I cannot. Yes, sir. You guys, I cannot increase. Oddly enough. And you're only equipped with pistols? Good God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, what if yes, I, can sir. I attach? Affirmative. Is that possible? I mean, you're a force of dudes with pistols. That's not even worth my time. But I wanted to take a look at the strategic aspects of this game, too. Like, what else? So all we have is pistols. Good God. Can I... Cannot produce anything else. We need rifle... Like, I don't even know how I'm supposed to produce anything else. You know, okay, you know what? Okay. I think if the... Pro as dumb as this is gonna sound. I think... What you have to do is you have to produce the ammo. Produce the uniforms. And then as the uniform... Okay, I think that's what it is. So, like a dumb dumb, I'm spending time and effort creating... All these squads. When in reality, I should... Probably trying to focus on maybe one or two units. Nobody's at war with us right now, so nobody's looking to fight us. We killed our rebel problem, so that's all well and good. Uh, how long until... Oh my god, six days. Fuck. But well, while you have a chance to talk. Uh, yeah, so Modern Warfare 2, they just think the plot of it was really dumb. Like, realistically speaking. Modern Warfare 2019, in my opinion, was much more realistic to its original counterparts. So, my hope is going forward... Now, granted, today is October 4th. You guys are probably going to be seeing this video much later after Modern Warfare 2 is already released, so... I guess it's going to be something to look back on. Be like, hey, Nick, you had said this in this video. Oh, cool. I'm not going to bother with Humvees right now since... How long is that going to take? 40 days? I'm not even going to bother. Let's get uniforms up since it's only going to take 10 days. It's going to be something to look back on. I'll be like, hi, I remember when I said that. Okay. 
I'm hoping that Modern Warfare 2 continues with what Modern Warfare 1 started, and it keeps up a realistic trend. I'm really hoping to see how they're going to kick off World War 3 in this new setting. You know, how exactly are they going to work Makarov into the equation, if at all? Uh, how is this going to work? That's ultimately the question. What are they going to do to make Modern Warfare 2 the way it was back in the original game, right? We're not really making it the, the way it was originally, but how do they take us from dealing with terrorists and Russian bioweapons or Russian chemical weapons all the way to World War III? How do, how do they take us from there? And I'm really curious to see how they're going to write the story going forward. But other than that, I honestly have no idea. I didn't realize that the game was paused because I'm a dumbass. I'm actually really interested in this game. Like, I know I'm kind of just jumping around. I'm actually really interested in this game because I kind of like... I love games that allow me to build militaries and shit like this and then designate them to go into different conflicts and what have you. I'm wondering if... If I don't attack anybody, right? But you think, oh, well, no, I actually went ahead and invaded both like a dumbass, so, yeah, it's kind of my own fault. Uh, do we have an idea? We don't even have an idea of what the enemy force is like. Like, we see that's the, like, a 7th Battalion. 27th Battalion, I'm sorry. Bradley's... It's got armor. Don't want to fuck with that. If I invade these guys, I don't know what I'm dealing with. One day left for the uniform. Well Yay. Okay, so I can... You know what the funny thing is? I've seen this, uh, you know... Is this just what my guys look like now? Uh, if I... Okay, let's see. If I make 5.56... Five, five, well, that... We're gonna make 5.56. Five, five, we're going to see if... It'll take 10 days. Okay, we're gonna make 5.56, five, five, see if this unlocks rifles. If this unlocks rifles, then we'll start producing pistols. Or... Wow, I sound retarded. If we... <laughs> oh my god. If we start producing this, and locked it, we're gonna start producing rifles if we unlock this ammunition. That's what I'm hoping for. I feel mentally retarded, not you know, saying that the wrong way. Okay, so, researching... What was that? Oh, fifth... Okay, never mind, that was... What the hell ammo type was that? What did I research for? Okay, so one thing I don't like about this game is I kind of feel like one thing we... So, the only thing we can research is ammunition, weapons, and vehicles. What I would like them to do going forward is allow us to research something to build so that way we can research multiple things at once. So, say for example, we can start producing research facilities. Every research facility allows us to do another research on top of what we're already doing. So say we have three research facilities, we can research three things at once. But, the more you do, the greater the cost, right? So say, for example, one research at a time is $1,000 a shot. What if you're doing two at a time, now it's 1000 and then an additional 2000 making 3000 total. But then if you do a third one, that's an additional 3000 on top of the 3000 you're already paying, so that's now 6000 you're paying. So you pay more, but you get more research done. So it's a balance of econ economics and time, essentially. I'd like them to do something like that. Okay, so now if we go select research, still nothing. Okay, so 556 does not, that doesn't unlock me shit. Um, it's strange. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to unlock those. Also, explain to me how researching the RPG-7 unlocks the ability to produce a Glock, or how doing the Glock 18 unlocks the F and fail. So this research makes no sense. Unless, you know what it might be too, I'm thinking about? What if, if I go down the cult line, it starts the M4s, right? And that, it, you get what I'm trying to say? That sounds ridiculous, but that might be what it is. I kind of feel like Humvee might be a good idea. Can I produce anything better? There's a 45 APC. Wait. Hold on. Wait a minute. 
Wait a fucking minute. Okay, so the developers made it oopsie poopsie. Okay, so we're producing Colt 45s, right? Stay with me here. Producing Colt 45s. What ammo type does that say? A millimeter. What does that say? A millimeter. All right, well, this is 9 by 18, this is 9 by 19, but essentially 9 mils, right? Okay. I'm producing these guns for new rookies. How are these ammos, the ammo types? How, how, how is, oh, I see how the, okay, so I see how this works at least. I get how that works, but again, if we're producing pistols to supply our troops, but we're not producing the ammo to, that's asinine. Okay, if anything for the developer to work on immediately is your starting kit. Definitely the developer needs to work on this, 100%. Because again, say you're a dumb dumb like me and you go to war early, which you probably shouldn't. You go to war early. So, what you do, you got all these wonderful pistols, right? Pistols that you can't fire because you don't have ammo. So then what you end up doing is you throw guns at guys that don't have ammo. So when you're sitting there going, hey, why aren't my guys not shooting at the bad guys? Why, why are my why are my forces just sitting there with their thumbs in their asses? I don't understand. Yeah, they're sitting there with their thumbs in their asses because you don't have ammo because the developers didn't give you the proper ammo type as your starting production type. That's asinine. No, that needs to be fixed. If they're going to give you a gun... If, if your first gun's an uh, M16, it's a 5.56, you should have 5.56 ammo in production. You shouldn't have 7.62, even though I think there are M4, you know, M4 platform rep weapons that have 7.62 capabilities. I think that's a thing. Or me in the comment section if I'm wrong. I believe that's a thing. What? Point stands. You got Desert Eagles. Those take 50 AE, uh, Action Express rounds, right? You shouldn't have fucking 9mm in production. If you've got a tank in production, you shouldn't have... I guess... Truck wheels, you know what I mean? You get what I'm trying to say? It's it's ridiculous, it's stupid, the way they've done... Okay, cool, so we actually... Wait, what? Oh, that town can actually produce something else on top of... Okay, that's interesting. What I'm saying is the way they have this set up is asinine. Um, I'm gonna restart one more time because I think I done diddly goofed, so I'll be right back. Okay, so before we end this video, I want to sure. okay. give it a try and see what would happen sure. if I just started war. Like, I want to go around the rebels. Now, if we roll in... So wait, are these guys gonna go and fuck with our soon-to-be enemies? Cool, okay, so yeah, like I said, I ended up restarting, so I just wanted to see what would happen if I... Had the bulk of my force just roll in. Like, I'm really hoping the rebels fight the enemy AI. Like, I hope they're just generally douchebags and they just generally fuck with everyone. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Sir, yes, sir. Take cover. Yes, sir. Roger that. Yes, sir. Roger. Now, if I attack these guys, right? Oh, fuck. They've got M1 Abrams. Oh, I might have fucked up here. Oh, we lost that fight. Okay. Wait, it's weird though because didn't the map turn red? There we go. Okay. Affirmative. So does this not count as? Yes, sir. Affirmative. Oh, so we occupy yes, that sir. town now. Okay. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Roger that. Wait, it's weird that the map's not turning red, because I was actually expecting that. Alright, let's roll in. Oh, they're, they're, these guys are beat the fuck up. Alright, so we're invading this town. If my tank can just figure out how to use terrain, that'd be lovely. And not, you know, get stuck on hills. See, this was the problem that Freeman Guerrilla Warfare had, that the AI vehicles just did not know how to drive. So they'd get stuck on terrain and shit like that. Though I do kind of appreciate the way these tanks move, just the whole bouncy nature of them with their suspension.
But so far, I am very intrigued for other than my complaints. What is that right there? Is that a mortar? Not enough depression. That was an RPG. Wait, can you take down buildings? Wait, can I put holes in buildings? I, I, I'm reloading. Damn it. I wanted to see if I could put holes in buildings. I actually want to just test this game out and like... I want to see what I can do with it when I can't. I also really want to know how to change my goddamn weapons, right? Is there... No, it's not. Okay. Oh, I think I got him. Nope, I'm dead. I'd like to know how to swap my ammo. Like, no, swap my ammo. I'm sorry, swap my weapons. Okay, you see that Confederate flag looking thing on his shoulder? On his uniform? Okay, 100%. These guys and Freeman Guerrilla Warfare's developers, 100% they're using the same shit. They're using the same assets. Maybe one's a little bit more advanced than the other. I would look at the assets, maybe not. But maybe buildings be able to get blown up or whatnot. Maybe that's a thing, I'm not sure. How do I make this gun full on? Okay, so... Nope, I got shot. Okay. I'm hit. Open fire. Is there a way to? Well, yeah. No, at this point we're gonna. Yeah, there we go. We lost. Oh. Huh. Do we just now own this? Yes, sir. Roger. Wait, why is it that? Oh, I'm curious. Well, those are rebels, so I don't give a shit about them. Sir, yes, sir. Roger. Contact. Oh, fucking hell. What are we fighting? Oh, you guys are fucked. Auto. Yeah, they got scrubbed. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. Children, I think we've learned a valuable lesson here today. That lesson being that I. I'm a dumbass. Started a war, I somehow might have maybe. Theoretically, one. Kind of. I mean, the map is now blue. So it appears I may potentially own it. But then, for some reason, Malga is also at war. See, that's another thing this game needs to add is politics. I want to know who's on whose side. Were these two territories part of an alliance and me attacking them started a war with that? Why are they mad at me? Why are they now red? I don't understand. Unless were they always red and I'm just being dumb? I don't remember. No, I think they were yellow. Oh, these guys were yellow. These dudes were green. They weren't red. That's what I'm trying to say. And now these guys are blue because they've taken over one of the towns. They, they need to fix the map. In concept, this game is cool. In practice, it needs work. It needs a lot of work. But I think until the game actually releases, it has a chance. So ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time I have for today. I'm going to mess around with this and see how well things go. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to help out the channel, any activity you leave keeps the channel alive and well in the algorithm. Keeps YouTube keeping it on our videos. And if you want to come hang out with me, link in the description below for our Discord. I'll see you around the next one, guys. Thank you, everyone. And have a fantastic day.